have, I think, huge sort of prospect and huge performance, I think, for our industry. But how would our industry sort of, I think, catch up with this maybe technology, maybe sort of mindful leadership? In the next sort of, 10 years, we need to catch up with the development that we have been missing for the last 20 years. And for the last sort of, few months, I've been visiting the Victor Bay area. Look at the projects that I, or factory that I've been in, well, visited. The Far East, who are doing this double curve curtain wall for the Henderson. The factory now being produced is world number one. All the double curve glass, aluminum sections, all are automated now. 100% automated waterproofing for all the panel before delivered to Hong Kong. I visited this Longhua project. Five blocks, 28 story. It was done within 363 days. One year, they complete everything. Again, it's MIC. But the most impressive thing that I saw, all are now digitally managed. Behind me is all those sort of panels, the four S's that we are providing. They can monitor everything within the control center. In the last five years, China construction is really have transformed themselves. We should really do this. Kung Kung Lin Sao. Combine the two giants together, make it, I think, four giants. This is what we should do. Without tackling safety, the thing that I just said is all empty. Define roles and responsibility. Each one needs to play their part. Consultant need to do design for safety, buildability, sustainability. Client need to choose the right contractor who got the right safety mindset. Main contractor, dynamic risk assessment, real field control briefing. Another big issue that I think Ricky had again identified, how can we recruit talent, young talent in particular, provide all the career path for fresh joint workers or semi-skilled or skilled, give them the ladder of progression. They can go to degree course as well. That's what CIC and the Bureau have been doing. But we need everyone to do this together.